Let me uh, change some stuff out here and add in three copies of this card. Oh, also I need to edit my deck a bit so that it's not so big. Why do I have Utopia? I don't need Utopia in here. Infinite Track Fortress? Why is Infinite Track Fortress in here? So we can rank up into these guys, but it can't rank up into the best one. The best guy that it can rank up into is, um, what's it called? I can't remember it off the top of my head. Hmm. Hmm. Let's remove this. There was one card I was going to add, but I can't remember what it's called. Not Time Thief Hack. Time Thief Hack is good, but that's not what I was looking for. Oh. Uh... I've never seen you play anyone play assault modes. My assault mode mode is too good. All right, thanks for the sub, Jay the Pickle. J Lo the Pickle. Oh, I can remove this since I removed the Utopia package. There's one card I need to add, but I can't remember it. I just know it's a dark Xyz monster that's rank five. Dark, rank five, and it's low rarity. Mm, oh, here it is. When this card is special summoned, you can target one spell trap on the field, destroy that target. Yeah. Okay, and then uh, there's one other Time Thief card I wanted to add. Bezel Ship. Also, this one was performing pretty well. If an Xyz monster leaves the field by a card effect while this card is in your graveyard, special summon this card but banish it when it leaves the field. You can only use this effect of Time Thief Recoder once per turn. It's pretty good. Bezel Ship's pretty good. Okay, I have that. Um, I don't have a way to deal with immune boss monsters now that I'm thinking about it. Hmm. What happened to the feet deck? Uh, I don't know what you're talking about. There's no feet deck in Master Duel. Let's see here. Maximum C? Well, I'm playing two going second cards. One of them is pretty good, but it's not good enough. Droplets. I can't really push for game with this deck. Droplets isn't good enough. If I'm trying to out unbeatable boss monsters like Herald of Ultimateness or... No, I think that's just it. Just Herald of Ultimateness. What I need is spell speed for negation. So Droplets, Dark Ruler no more, or Super Poly. I think Super Poly is probably the better option to go into, but then I'd have to set my extra deck up for it. Hmm. Hype Train. Ooh, Hype Train. Droplets. As an old school duelist who stopped after LO3 Gemini Elf OP days, any advice to start over? It's been 20 years. Where do I start just learning the meta? Uh, I have a video. 10 things you should know about playing Yu-Gi-Oh. I would highly suggest watching that video to learn some of the basics of the meta game, and then learn how to play Elblich or uh, Alistair the Invoker. Those are two very good decks and engines that are very easy to learn. So one of the best things you can do when you're starting off is win a lot with cards that aren't complicated and those two archetypes will accomplish exactly that. Now Dark Arm Dragon. Oh I love Dark Arm Dragon. Maybe I should play more copies of Dark Arm Dragon. You go needs a maxi Ash Blossom. Um I have counter traps. Oh, Solemn Strike stops a uh, Herald of Ultimateness, but it takes a turn. No, it, it stops it though. Let's see, what else do I have to worry about? There's Herald of Ultimateness, there's Rongo Minia, which I can't do anything about. Um, and then there's Floodgates, which is what Solemn Strike is for. Also, this one stops it too. So does this. No, actually this one only stops spell traps. VFD? Solemn Strike stops VFD as well. I forget counter traps actually like shut down. <laughs> I have three answers right here. Whoa, Crazy the Bad was the best card in the day. I know, right? I should play three of them. Why am I not playing three copies of Dad? You guys have convinced me. All right, let's go. Why no called by? Because I don't fear hand traps. Which archetype? I wasn't paying attention. I'm farming Genshin. Which archetypes? Uh, Alistair the Invoker and Eldlich. Why is Rongo still a thing? Uh, because they don't know how to balance their game. What's the card next to rank up magic? I don't remember off the top of my head. I'll have to go check. Time Thief Regulator. Eat my whole butt. Actually, you know what? These two are probably better. This one and then this. Oh, the other one searches. Pumbo. I forgot about that. Never mind. I'm stupid. Ignore me. Okay. Yay. Crazy box. He's so crazy. <gasps> crazy box activates his effect to gamble a little bit. Come on, two. Ooh, Dark Arm Dragon is live. <laughs> Daddy. <laughs> Whoa, Dark Arm Dragon turn one. What is this, 2008? Pretty crazy board, I know, right? I even went plus one off of that crazy box. Imagine that. Harpy's Feather Duster. Uh, this is the main phase, right? Oh, with no materials. 
friends. Okay, I forgot about that. I was like, wait, why can't I chain this? No, my two back row cards! All of my protection is gone. Uh, okay. So, Foolish Burial into what? Into Supreme King Dragon? Yes. Let me activate Maxi now. There we go. What are you gonna do? Activate Called by the Grave? Heck no. Give me all your card draw. 2008, so like high school? <gasps> you were in high school in 2008? Only boomers were in high school in 2008. I graduated in 07. I graduated in 2010. So yeah, I remember my fascination with Dark Arm Dragon. I always thought he was so cool. VTuber? Ah, oh, Pamu. Hello there. It's me. The duologue. Duologues. Quit until 2020. Odd Eyes Huge Revolution Dragon. That lets him search a card from his deck to the hand. <gasps> the old logs. Luster Pendulum. This allows him to destroy the other card in his pendulum zone in order to search out a card from the deck. It's as long as it has the same name as that card. Obviously, this is used in order to set up the extra deck. Then he activates Performer Pal. He has a 2 and a 5, which means he can pendulum summon levels 3 through 4 monsters. He has a level 4 monster in his extra deck. And one in his hand, apparently. Okay, now they gain a thousand attack. That one allows him to destroy two of his cards in order to uh, add two cards. This one will let him, uh, I think this one special summons too, right? I'm pretty sure. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, Odd Eye Synchron Dragon. Sorcerer, what is Sorcerer gonna do now? Hold up, I was paying too much attention to the game and I did not notice these, the Akiza model. Um, let me just remind you guys that I am not a VTuber. Now that we have that out of the way. <gasps> performer Pal Skullcarat Joker, this allows them to add either a Performer Pal monster, a Magician Pendulum monster, or an Odd Eyes monster from their deck to their hand. However, they cannot add Performer Pal Skullcarat Joker. Oh, two of them. Is going to go into Electromite? <laughs> no, he can't because his extra deck zone is currently filled up. Supreme King Dragon. Okay, he's going to target that effect. And then, uh, I don't know what his effect is on the field. Banishes all cards, apparently, in both players' decks and extra decks. Don't care. I don't need that. With 6,800 attack and piercing damage. Whoa. That's pretty crazy. However, don't care. And also, you're British. My dumbass just realized you're being satirical when you say you're not a VTuber. Uh, I'm not a VTuber, though. So. <laughs> I don't get why you people think I'm being sarcastic. I'm just telling you a fact. Okay, I will send a, uh, a basil ship to the great. Really, he quit out of my... He quit out versus Crazy Box Turbo? Whoa. How come the mouth is still open? I think it has the mouth open by default. Or maybe it doesn't have a good track on my, my face. Hello. Yeah, it just doesn't have a good track on my face. <gasps> oh, I think it's because my mic was in the way. No, there's just not enough light. Well, anyways, 